What is up, guys? Welcome back to Call Me Old Fashioned, where we talk everything bourbon, whiskey, and of course, old fashioned. A little rusty today. Been gone a little bit, but we're back. We're gonna have a drink, we're gonna hang out. We got a special bottle that was sent in, so I figure we go ahead and crack this baby. Actually, it's already cracked, but I figure we have a pour of it with you guys. Hang out and, uh, yeah, see what you guys are up to. I know, I know, I know. Let me click off this. And that way, we do this. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Boom, double screen. It's the only way to do it. <clears throat> but yeah. So if you guys are new, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and of course, let me know what you're drinking on. Tonight we're gonna be drinking on the Weller Special Reserve. Obviously, you can't find this in Florida, at least not where I'm at. I know other people say they can find it. I can't find it. But uh, my uncle in Colorado, I think it's Colorado Springs, um, he was able to find a bottle and he sent it in. So there is something in my glass. Oh, boys, you know it's been a minute. Can't, can't waste it. Can't waste it, but I'm not drinking out of that. What the heck? A little speck, a little speck in the drink to start it off. I mean, if the glasses are dusty... Maybe, maybe there's a problem. I don't know. Let's check the chat. Tuxedo Cat, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're okay. Hopefully she's okay. I was watching Bruzel. I switched to my guy. Congrats on the baby. I know. I forget Bruzel goes live. So like on Mondays, but that's I gotta I gotta go live when I can at this point. But I appreciate the congrats. Uh, cat's like Eric in the house, Colorado Springs. I'm like five minutes away. I don't know much about like where he's at or anything like that, but I do. I know that he sends me like snow pictures all the time, and he's like, "Come on, we might go there for the holidays." Um, that's what he was talking about, at least. Let's get into this. So, what was funny is when he sent this, you know, I Facetimed him and we like chatted and stuff, and I showed the kid and all that, um, and we cracked the bottle, of course, because you know he paid for it. So I figured we'll have a drink together. Bro, we were on FaceTime for like two hours. I was planning to go live that same day. But as soon as they got done with the FaceTime, I was hammered. I was like, let's, I gotta lay down. So that's why we didn't go live that day. But I will say, this stuff, cooking, delicious. Honestly, one of my favorites. Um, Obviously, it's Buffalo Trace Distillery, so nothing really bad comes out of it. But for being a, a weeded bourbon, super sweet. It kind of just, it's like the Buffalo Trace, like, main mash bill, but just, like, amplifies. So it has tons of flavor, tons of sweetness. It's Honestly, it's right up my alley for when it comes to bourbons. So that's why I'm super high on it. I, just, I wish I could find it more often because I would slam this bottle down. Tuxedo says not much, just eating chili fries. <laughs> yeah, Brizzle does have a ton of people in his chats. So every time I've been in there and I've commented, they never get answered. But like, I mean, rightfully so. He's got like a thousand people. I can only imagine how difficult that would be. It's super easy when it's two, you know what I mean? Three. We're up to four. Let's go. <laughs> he says, I'm drinking E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Feeling fancy. I'm still waiting to get that. Uh, Eric's like... Finally found Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, A124. They have that everywhere here. Um, I haven't picked it up just because the, the store that typically has it has their like their barrel pick, which is usually pretty good. Um, so I kind of choose that over the A124. Crazy Dog 1245 says, hi. What's going on, buddy? Do the dog in that picture, little, little, little ankle biter. Definitely Crazy Dog. 
Dogs usually love me, except for the little ones. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me, maybe it's everybody. But yeah, if have you guys had this? Am I just like super late to the party? Is that what it is? You guys have 15 balls of this at home? Eric says, I'm a huge fan of Antique 107. It's great, way better than Special Reserve. If it's way better than this, I have to have it. I have to have it. Um, there is a spot, like a website, I know I can go buy and have it shipped, but obviously I would be paying like basically double price. I think 107 was like 150 bucks online. I don't know how great that is, but for price wise, but it is, if it's better than this, I'm probably end up buying it. Dab 90 says, have you tried White Claw Surge? Uh, no, I know there's no laws when you're drinking claws, but I kind of, I kind of overdid it on a cruise one time with White Claws. I haven't really drank it since, but I'm sure it's good. Like if you like White Claw, I, I heard they're just supposed to have a little bit more alcohol and more flavor. And that's the one thing White Claw was missing was like more flavor. I like seltzer water. That's why I like, like White Claws and stuff like that. But I just don't, when I drink, I'm typically drinking bourbon just because I don't watch my girlish figure. You know? <laughs> yeah, this stuff, I, I honestly, I have to like watch how many pours I do just because I could drink this stuff super quick. Kaz says, meanwhile, I've never got my hands on it. Even these junior wellers, LOL. My friend has like the whole lineup and I've never seen one. That's what I mean. Like in some parts, I don't know how you haven't actually, if you're in Colorado, this is where he gets it. So, bro, funny story with him. So he collects bourbon, right? He doesn't, he doesn't have anything crazy, but he gets some of the fancy bottles. And I haven't seen his collection before. And when I FaceTime him, he had a bottle of Eagle Double Rare, or Extra Rare, whatever you call it, Double Rare. Um, bro, and the bottle was like almost gone. I was like, holy crap, you opened it and then you drank all of it? Couldn't save me none? Come to find out it was like a replica bottle Bro, people out here gaslighting. Eric says, Tuxedo Cat, true friend. True friends, if he doesn't let you try those wellers, I agree with Eric. Mr. Lopez in the chat. What's going on, buddy? He says, what's up, new daddy? Salute. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, it's it's definitely different. I'll tell you guys that. Tater Dom in the chat. What's up, Pete? What's going on? Yeah, so it wasn't Eagle Double Rare. I thought I was, bro. He had me going for like 10 minutes too. I'm like, you couldn't like send me like a shot of that because it was, the bottle was like almost empty, but apparently it's just, it was just like a fake bottle that somebody sent him and he, that's what he refills as like his like mixed barrel stuff. So he'll put a little bit of Weller in there, a little bit of whatever. And then like people come over that have no idea what they're drinking. He's like, yeah, try this. Crazy. What's my take on Howler, Howler Head? It's all right. It's nothing crazy. Um, it makes a good old fashioned from time to time, but it's just it's just kind of what you're into for that. Um, I don't keep it on the shelf, but like I've had it at a bar. You know what I mean? It's definitely something you can get at a bar pretty frequently, which is pretty good. Um, like a lot of stuff on this shelf, like you're not going to find it just every bar. You know what I mean? So that's where like, Depends on what you're at, if I would consider it good. Uh, Tuxedo says, oh, don't worry, Eric. He has a good friend that I drink all his whole stock. Martin says something that I don't know what it is, because, or unless he's saying Chicago. Chicago. Tater Dom says, hit the like button on your phone. Hold the screen for three seconds to bring it up. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day. So we gotta get we gotta get Tater Dom in here to do logistics at this point. He's like, I'm just happy to see everybody. <laughs> bro, it's been a minute. But what's crazy is like, bro, that that first couple nights, bro, we were we were going 100 miles a minute. The labor was crazy. What was funny is she. What you guys didn't know, the last time I was live when we were watching the game, I was like sitting here talking to you guys and she's off the side having contractions and she's like i'll let you know if we have to go and i'm like i'll be back if yale makes a comeback i knew i wasn't coming back i was leaving 
but obviously like other people were watching the stream and I couldn't like announce that she's going into labor because one, we weren't hundred percent sure. But the second week I ended the live, she stood up, went to the room, water broke and it was on like Donkey Kong from there. So yeah, crazy series of events there. I was up for like two days at that point. <clears throat> and then kid eventually gets here and then we were just like hibernating in the hospital for like four or five days. And then we came home and then it was like, I was like, when, when is his parents going to pick him up? You know what I mean? Like waiting for somebody to be like, hey, thanks for babysitting. But no, he's a cool little dude. He's sleeping or I'd bring him in here, but he's had a long day. We went to two different doctor appointments and then went to my buddy's house for a minute. Miss Lopez says, how's the baby and the missus? Baby's doing great. Bro, baby's 10, pound, 10 pounds, basically. It was like 9... 14 bro buddy was a chunker uh wife was beat up for a little bit she's doing better she's a little sore today because she did more than like walk around the house uh we went to doctor's appointment stuff like that so she's now kind of laying in bed just taking a little nap probably or watching the stream one of the two yeah he's like wow you lied to us <laughs> trust issues even worse so one of my buddies was in the chat and I, I wasn't going to be the one that announced it like, Hey, I think she's having contractions. So I was, I was just getting off and I was like, Hey, like, let me make sure she's good. It was funny. I wish I like, now I wish I would have like panned over. Cause she was on one of those like exercise balls, just bouncing, being like, <sighs> wrap it up, wrap it up. And I'm like, yo, cool. Halftime we're losing. We did lose the parlay by the way, boys. Not happy about that. Hump says six setup. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, we're doing dual cameras right now, but we can go single camera. Or we can switch it up. We do all types of stuff here. Um, honestly, I just kind of threw the cameras and stuff back up. I didn't really get crazy with the settings. So if it looks good, that's just me uh, getting lucky this time. Normally, I kind of fine tune it. I know the lights. That's going to drive me nuts. The lights are different in the background. That's not how they're supposed to be. But we're going to switch that in a second. AXH. I'm drinking on Maker's Mart by myself. This was a good channel to come across. Cheers. Appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. Maker Mart, which one? Just like regular makers or like you got like a special one or something? I haven't really got crazy into makers. I've had regular makers, but like it's okay. But I think for me, I got to try one of those special ones to figure out if I really like that like profile because um, I'm not the biggest fan, but you never know. Let's see. I think that's Manny. What? No Everclear? Bro, Everclear? Oh my god. No, no Everclear today. That'd be insane. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. So we uh we went to Old Smoky one time in Tennessee and they had that blue lightning. <sighs> Bro, brutal drinking that. That's like just gasoline. I'm not a fan of that. I gotta have some kind of flavor. He says, you have a good eye for aesthetics. It goes a long way. I appreciate it. I'm a, normally a like day job, uh, wedding photographer, wedding videographer. So like I kind of have a good idea on how to handle cameras and stuff like that. So, But I appreciate it. I like the background. It took a while to set up, so I always take credit for that. Um, but once we, at the, when, if you go back to the first videos we have, they're a little rough. I had the kitchen in the background and stuff, but now I finally have an office and the kid had its own room now. So we're, we're, we're cruising. Yeah, it's just a regular bourbon. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for the price, right? It's fairly cheap comparatively. So um, it's not bad to have. Is that your favorite? Or is you, do you like something else as well? Drinking 99 watermelon. Woo. Ooh. What do I have in here? I think I have a 99 something in here. I have a 99 espresso coffee. Oh, shit. Well, now, I, now it's on the floor. I wasn't going to drink that anyway. That's been in my liquor cabinet since I, I don't even know how long. Forever. So. This was a classy touch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keeps the cove away. But you gotta do it. Rolling a joint with that and chilling with you. Okay, get a little crazy tonight. Uh, Spoon says, what's up? Oh, damn, we drinking. We drinking. 
we're not going crazy, right? We're trying to be classy. You know what I mean? We're having a what we call a pour of a little bit of bourbon. We do have a celebration bourbon going though, because we just uh, were the first live stream back after the kids been born. If everybody didn't know, I think I posted it though. Everybody knows the gender was a surprise, right? And then we found out uh, it was a boy. So everybody else was wrong because everybody voted girl, including myself. So um, <laughs> wrong 99 purchase, man. I didn't buy that, by the way. Party foul, time to chug some Fireball. I will never drink Fireball again. I'm not a fan of Fireball in the first place. How's it, Garn? I'm from New Zealand. Bro, New Zealand? Bro, what time is it there? But what's going on? 99 is survivor liquor, liquor for the night. <laughs> you ain't lying about that. Electric says, Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye. I haven't had that one yet, but I know it's good. I just, I can just feel it's going to be good. I have the Jack Daniels single barrel whiskey. That's like 138 proof. That's really good. Little too proofy for me, but it's really good. Vance says, pour it up, pour it up. Absolutely. My dude spoon says, congratulations. Appreciate it. Mr. Lopez, not nah, iffy on that classy she is. We celebrating tonight. Yeah, we, we, we threw away the alcohol pads and we're cruising with Weller. But yeah, bro, cruising in the chat. Again, if you guys are new, we talk about bourbon, whiskey, and old fashions, everything like that. Sometimes we get crazy with it, but feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit like. We go live typically every Friday at 8.35. A uh, little bit on the iffy part for that because we haven't been live in a while due to the kid. But I mean, eventually we're going to get back in the groove of it. Uh, Monday was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. And I also just wanted a drink, so... I have to have I have to have an excuse to drink. The wife won't, won't, won't get, let me off dad duty. You know what I mean. So Eric says fire tomorrow 1 p.m. or 1 p.m. tomorrow. Nah, bro. Oh, you're talking about the time, bro. That's so far. It's 9:18 here in Florida. So if it's one o'clock, bro, it's like your day's almost over tomorrow. I've never been to New Zealand, obviously. Funny. Van says, too much 99, just a night, creatures trying to survive. Oh, camera died. Gonna have to swap that one. Is that what happened? Yep. Camera battery died. We talking about how the dolphins suck, bro. Where's Stefan Diggs at? I'm just saying. Just saying. Don't come for me. I'll come for you. Are you guys seeing the eclipse as well? Bro, I went, when we were at the doctors, I saw uh, like the doctors were like, here, have these glasses, go look at the eclipse. And I was like, okay, cool. I wasn't like super stoked about it. I was just knowing that like, if I look at it, I'm gonna go blind. So I was told not to look at it. But uh, it was kind of weird when like, for here, like obviously it wasn't like a full one here in Florida, but when it did, um, like the whole like outside was like gray. It was kind of like a weird vibe. The world didn't end, so I figured like all the people that you know said the world was gonna end is gonna have to call call their jobs today and ask for the job back. Monkey shoulder, yay or nay? I've not had it, so I don't know. Let's go yay though. I, monkey shoulder sounds like a good tradition. That's what everyone asks come playoff time. Where did, where's Stefan? Yeah, true. Where do, where's he at during the playoffs? Dead camera made a cool transition. Sometimes we just lob it up. You missed the beginning. We had Conor McGregor saying the King's back. I'm just, you have to rewatch that one. Remember Dan Marino? I remember. It's the only good time we had for the Dolphins, you know? I like Tua still, but I, we're going to overpay him and we're going to be kind of screwed. But there's nothing better out there, so I say pay him. He said, yes, sir, Eclipse is on. Electric got kind of dark in Knoxville. I can imagine it got real dark in Knoxville just because you guys are, like, right in that line. So we live in a simulation. <laughs> You're right about that. 
monkey shoulders. I figured it was whiskey. I just, I've never had it. But in Cali, we did not. Yeah, I think California was way too far for it to like really do anything. Like here, like in Florida, we're, we're, we're in that cone at all. But like there's still like a piece of the sun that got clipped. And basically it just made it look weird for like a couple of minutes outside. Uh, nothing crazy though. I saw some videos of like the world went dark for a good minute. So that would have been cool. I'm in far west Kentucky and it's 100%. It was the same as 2017 eclipse. Okay. I know the eclipse that's going to happen in 2045 is going to hit Florida dead on. So I'll get to experience what you experienced then. Unless I move. Remember when, when Dan Marino kissed the dude in Ace Ventura? I don't remember that, but I'm sure you're right. It's but weird. What a weird thing to remember. Are you a sports guy? What's your team? Uh, I'm definitely a sports guy. I love sports. Um, I'm from Miami, so I'm everything Miami. Like, I'm a diehard Miami Heat fan. Unfortunately, Dolphins fan. Um, Marlins, when our season starts. Everybody else had season openers already. Marlins are going to wait till we get, like, good 20 games in before we really start playing. Um, you know, I like the Panthers. It's kind of about it, I think. Monkey's shoulder is scotch? No, I think it's whiskey. What's your favorite spice? I don't know. Hot sauce? What do you mean kind of spice? Gel. What's your favorite spice? I don't know. Cinnamon. <clears throat> California didn't need the eclipse. It's been a tweaker apocalypse. <laughs> Bro. That's crazy. I hope I'm still alive in 2044 for the next one. Yeah, there's one in 2024, or 2024, 2044, and then one in 2045. The one in 2045 is going to go right across from, like, Florida to, like, Washington. That one I'm, I, I think would be cool. I was thinking it was from Scotland. Saffron. Sporty Spice. <laughs> Bro, what are we talking about? Old Spice? <clears throat> yeah, Jim Carrey is the GOAT. Bro, he's great. I love all his movies. And Adam, Sal Adam Sandler. Posh Spice? Bro, y'all are just running crazy now. Mm -mm -mm. Bro, cruising, cruising. The wife had to warn the kids got to get a diaper change, so you guys hear crying, that's what it is. It's not me this time. <clears throat> but yeah. But again, especially cat. Like, if you've never had this, I think it's definitely something you got to find. You can get it online for like, 70, 80 bucks, which is, again, super expensive. But if you've never had it before, you really don't know, like, is it worth it? I mean, compared to what I've spent on other stuff, I would probably spend like 70 bucks for this. I think that'd be a solid price. Normally this is like a 29, $35 bottle though. You know what I mean? But Van says, I like the dad hat. Where'd you get it? Uh, you can go to the link in the description. Um, there is a link to Dad Gang. Dad Gang basically is like hats for dads. They have a ton of different ones. Um, usually they say Dad Gang on it. If you see my other videos, I wear them all the time. It's really the only hat I wear. Um, but you can also save yourself 15% off with the code in there. Clutch. Always plug. Bro, they got to make me a partner at this point. You know what I mean? I just be plugging their crap. But that I liked it because what was cool is you guys saw that I had, I had the pink Dad Gang hat and I had the green one. So when the kid was born, nobody else knew the gender. So I got to go walk in like the waiting room where everybody was. I wish I had the video. I would pull it up. But basically I had two hats down. Like if we were doing like a, like which kid, like where you, uh, what do they call it? Where the kid like picks where, what school they're going to, you know, and they have the hats in front of them. Basically that's what we did. So I put on the pink hat and then I threw it and then I grabbed the green one. Everybody went nuts. Crowd went nuts. Signed the paper. It was cool. It was a cool moment. 
Eric says, I find Weller here for 65 secondary, and to me it's worth it. Yeah, 65, even though that's secondary, like, I definitely think this bottle is worth it. I, like, what's crazy is, like, for me, like, everybody will say, like, Buffalo Trace, right? This is about, these are, like, the same price. Slide that over. This one, bottle's slightly, like, a little bit more narrow. The same size bottles, technically. But for same price, this is way better. You know what I mean? Um, like, this is still good. Don't get me wrong by any means. Um, but I definitely think that bottle is like a $35 to $40 bottle at best. And this, I could see paying quite a bit more. It just has a lot more flavor. It is uh, 90 proof, though, which is lower on the proof. But it doesn't drink like a 90 proof. It drinks like it's a, like a 95 to 100 proof, which I like. Um, because I know it can make a mean old-fashioned. And maybe I'll do that on the next stream. We'll make an old-fashioned. I didn't have ice set up. Um, my wife was eating ice like nobody's business when she was pregnant, so we kind of run it low. <clears throat> Fan says, appreciate it. Yeah, of course, buddy. I mean, go check them out. They they sell out quick on the hats, though. So they have, like, a Mookie Betts one. Like, if you're a Los Angeles fan, I don't even know if they have that one anymore. Um, but they sell out fairly quick. Um, Mr. Lopez, freaking hate this format. Try to scroll up and down and accidentally leave the page. I'll take that into consideration. Uh, so like for me, like one thing that this is good at, this format, one, it does allow more people to find the stream, but also like it's kind of easy for me to set it up. Um, that's me taking the easy way out, to be honest. Um, like setting up the wide one, I have to do a couple more things to it. Um, so I apologize. But we're still here. Just swipe on back. Tuxedo says, I do it all the time. Yeah, it's like the one complaint I hear from it. It's like I miss three seconds at a time. But to be honest, you're not missing too much. We're kind of just hanging out at this point. Um, I kind of said my piece on the Weller. Like, it's honestly, it's really good. Um, I'm glad he sent it. Um, because I do think it is, like, one of those special bottles. And for me, like, because of, like, the moment that it was given to me, the reason behind it, I probably won't slam this bottle. Because it will be something, like, I can go back to it over and over again, kind of relive that moment. Um, so again, finding a reason to, to have a good bottle of bourbon, a good story behind it, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Same thing with that Traveler whiskey. I like the story behind it. This one kind of created its own story. So that means I'm going to have to go buy more Weller. You know what I mean? Gears are turning there. Uh, what's he said? He goes, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was thinking those are the same mash bills. They are, but they're, they're aged differently. Let me just see if it's even on here. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, actually, Buffalo Trace, I can't remember. This, uh, Weller is weeded, right? Uh, Buffalo Trace is, um, it's not just like a weeded bourbon. It is just like bourbon. Um, so that's like the biggest difference. Um, so this one is significantly more sweeter, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's basically the same thing. If you get down to it, it's it's extremely close. Like when I drank this, I, it reminds me of Buffalo Trace. The only thing it is, it, if I know it's not, but it feels a little bit more aged because the flavors are just that much more potent. Where would you rate Yukon Jack? I have no idea. Well, tried Bodega Cat? Nope. Don't know what that is either. Tater Dom says promo code. Call me old fat. There you go, Dom. Bro, Dom, Dom's looking for a job. <laughs> uh, uh, Tater, what would happen as well is like I also changed the link in this video where you can just cl click the link now and it'll just give you the code. Um, before, or you can just copy and paste it too, the same thing. Not everything about you, bro. Okay. My bad. My bad. Mr. Lopez, smiley face, or laughing face. You know, I was doing my best to just get on the live today. You know what I mean? Pop in, show face, kiss a couple babies, have a couple pours. Bro, it's not easy. Bro, I was at somebody else's house like two hours ago, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to make the live. Because I got, I, I went, I shot a wedding in North Carolina this past uh, weekend. So like... I drove back right after, like, 
shot, I did like a 12 hour wedding day and then drove nine hours back. That was brutal. And then I slept the whole next day and then I'm trying to like get all the editing done. I got super behind and I'm like, I'd love to go live right now, but there's no way I can even like function. So then that got pushed to today and I was like, we gotta make it happen eventually. You know what I mean? So we just kind of threw the cameras up and said, let's just, let's just have a drink. So we'll get into some more reviewy stuff uh, coming up. I plan to kind of smash the, the videos in the next couple weeks as soon as I catch up a little bit more on the weddings um, because my computer is just bogged down right now with tons of wedding stuff. So as soon as I can clear some of that, I can add in my own stuff. <clears throat> Eric says, guess I'm missing some chats because I read some I can't see. So one thing I did notice when I go back in like the chat like afterwards, some stuff gets flagged and some stuff doesn't. I don't see every chat for some reason. And like, because you guys remember when we were like, I don't remember what we were making fun of. We were making fun of something. And there was like a ton of chats from Kat that got flagged. Um, and I can't see it until it's over. So maybe that's what's happening. Either that or I'm missing them and that's my fault. So if I missed your chat, I apologize. Uh, Mandy says, congratulations on the family. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. The, ki the kid's getting changed right now. Bro, the anytime the kid gets changed, he pisses everywhere. Just so you know. So you might hear a scream, oh my God, he's pissing on me. Tuxedo says, I was in another app and I heard that I was about to come back swinging. <laughs> But then I saw it was just from Mr. Lopez. Never mind. Bro, Kat, you're in like 18 different apps on 14 different YouTube channels at this point. Van says, I'm subscribed. I'm liking the chillness of this. So men talk about nothing. That's exactly what it is at this point. You know, in the first half, we talked a little bit about bourbon. Today wasn't really planned out. But normally I spend a good 20 minutes talking about some kind of bottle. You know what I mean? describing it, giving you a review, letting you know if it's good or not. And then we just kind of kick back, have drinks, and just talk about whatever comes up. You know what I mean? Well, last time we talked about cat eating alcohol pads. You know what I mean? Sometimes we just let the... See, Eric says alcohol pads maybe. Exactly. You know what I mean? Sometimes like, whatever comes up, we just start talking about it. Yeah, I like to say questionable stuff. You guys are ahead of me at this point. Good stuff, bro. Eric says, I was missing. You thought you were somewhere else. So I will say, while we're on bourbon talk right now, the uh, <clears throat> two runners right now for my favorite bourbons for this year, at least, is going to be these two. Both of these, Ugh. delicious. The issue now, what I keep running into is everybody keeps saying, hey, are you gonna get the rye? Are you gonna get the cash strength of the rye? You know what I mean? Are you gonna go get the, the malted barley one? And as much as I know I'd love to, and I'm sure they would be good, if I bring out another bottle of Lost Monarch and try to talk about it, you know what I mean? Like, people are going to lose their minds saying that that's all I talk about. Somebody tried to say that when I was talking about the Pipe Dream that I was doing a promo for them. I'm not doing a promo for nobody. Um, not unless, I mean, if they wanted me to, I definitely would for them because I love their stuff. But um, I realized, like, I talk about Redwood Empire so much that people think that I'm, like, getting paid by them. So somebody tag Redwood Empire and tell them that Daddy needs a check or I can't keep buying their bottles. Mr. Lopez says, we gambling tonight? <clears throat> Just to let you guys know, uh, we went live, what was it, eight, nine times during March Madness. You know what I mean? I didn't win one parlay. I didn't win nothing. I just straight donated to the cause. The one, only one I even came close to was the one Cat drew up, right? He drew up a good, like, eight to nine leg parlay, I think. And we came down to Yale, and then we lost. What I did think was funny is, like, we, me and my buddy had a running joke saying the kid's going to come during March Madness, right? And, of course, the kid waited till the last possible moment and said, hey, your parlay's done. I'm coming. So it was pretty funny for that. Um, but, no, I'm not going to gamble tonight. Um... Dead needs a paycheck first.
because we lost a lot of money during March Madness. But maybe Friday. You know what I mean? I'm off from the weddings for a couple weeks. Maybe we dial something up on Friday and uh, maybe have a little blackjack and a roulette night. Maybe I can have my buddy come on. He likes gambling. Make a night of it. Mitch Lopez also says, I tried Devil's Towers. Pretty damn good. See, that's what I mean. I know it's good. I know it's going to be delicious. But if I buy it and I talk about it again, I'm going to get shit again. So what I think is on like the to buy list next is obviously I got to go get that E.H. Taylor uh, small batch or the single barrel. Um, I, for, I wanted to stop in North Carolina at one of those ABC stores. First, and by the way, does anybody know why North Carolina and even Georgia, they call their liquor stores like ABC, ABC packing stores? What's up with that? Do you know? Because I don't know. I should know that, but I don't know that. Um, but yeah, I was going to stop and literally they all close at nine, like everywhere. In Florida, you can buy liquor up until like one o'clock in the morning. Or maybe it's 12 now. I don't go to a liquor store that late, but you know what I mean? Um... But yeah, so I got to find Eagle Rare. Um, and then there's a Baker 7 I want to try. Um, that's at one of the stores that I like. And then um, what else was I going to get? And I'm thinking about doing a video on um, one of the online stores where you can buy uh, liquor online. Technically, it's secondary, but sometimes they have decent prices. Um, so I'm thinking about buying a bottle from them and kind of going over the entire process to see if it's actually worth it, right? Will your bottle come broken? Is paying for the insurance worth it? You know, stuff like that. Um, and then seeing if the bottle is actually like a legit bottle. Because, you know, there's some scams out there. So um, I'd like to figure out a good source where somebody can buy it online if they want to spend the money. Um, like for me, like I really want to try this, right? So if I want to try this and I'm willing to spend the money, where can I go and spend the money that I'm not going to get ripped off for? Like without like, me knowing you know what i mean so eric says just bought eh taylor's single barrel last weekend it's amazing <sighs> eric you keep rubbing it in appreciate it um <clears throat> yeah i can't wait to try that um i'm about to hit enough points to be able to buy that one and as soon as they have one in daddy's buying it <laughs> tuxedo says don't turn around eric <laughs> knife emoji I'm going to need that. <laughs> so you can, the one, one website I'm looking at, you can buy um, E.H. Taylor, not the single barrel, the small batch for like a hundred bucks, which I believe normally like E.H. Taylor is like $40, right? But then like most secondaries, you can find it like 65 to 75. So if I'm just spending an extra 25 bucks to just have it and not have to go hunt for it, it just depends on like the person and if they want to buy it that much. You know what I mean? Buy online from them. A bottle republic in New Jersey. Okay, I'll look them up. Do they have E.H. Taylor? Do they have the, the jazz? You know, they got the juice. Eric says some states are government ran, so ABC liquor stores are ran by the governments we meant. Ran by the government we meant. <clears throat> so the part that so that I get what you mean there. We have liquor stores that are named ABC Liquors here. They're not ran by the government. They're just a chain, but it's called ABC Liquors. Um, so that's what threw me off is I was I was looking for the ABC Liquors. So I drove past like three or four of them, not realizing there'd be these hole in the walls called packing stores. So that was like, I didn't know what was happening. You know what I mean? So that was crazy. But Next wedding I have like at the end of the month and I'm going to get to drive through Georgia again. And when this time I'm thinking I'm going to drive up a day earlier and probably leave somewhat early in the morning here and probably hit a few liquor stores. And hopefully what I can do is just go live or just record them. I don't know how to, I'm going to have to plan that one out a little bit, um, but either go live or record them. So that way you can kind of see the process of like hunting for that stuff as well. I think going live would be cooler. That way, if they don't have what I'm looking for, you guys can be like, hey, that's good for a good price and kind of be like my uh, TV guide. You know what I mean? Just tell me what to buy. So, 
Eric says, I found E.H. Taylor in most places around here for 300 to 400 but I found mine for 169 so I jumped on it. Yeah, that sounds like a good price comparably. I know the single barrel is quite a bit more than the small batch, um, and that's what I want. I want the small batch, or I want the uh, single barrel, but you can get small batch at that thing that I was talking about for like 100 bucks or so. <clears throat> For the price, I take E.H. Taylor small batch over the single barrel any day. So again, that's where it comes down to like the reviews that I do is I want to figure that out and be able to know like is where small batch stack up to where single barrel stack up. Is single barrel that much better? And is it that much better for the price? I know my earlier videos, people got gave me shit for talking about price, but to me, price has got to do with a lot of this stuff. You know what I mean? Most people don't realize, like, when you're when you're buying a bottle of bourbon, for example, <clears throat> let's say you buy a bottle of bourbon for $100, and let's say you get paid $10 an hour. I'm not saying you do. I don't even know if that's minimum wage. But let's say you do. That's 10 hours of your life you're paying for that bottle of it. So you got to know, like, if you're going to spend 10 hours of your life on something, is it worth that 10 hours? Or is it okay, and you can get something that's only worth six hours? You know what I mean? So for me... I look at that kind of stuff pretty, pretty heavily and say, hey, is it, is it worth that money? Because if it's not, I, wouldn't, I'm, I don't want to recommend somebody to buy it. This, totally worth it. Go buy it. Go spend your life on it. I'm kidding. It is very good, though. But yeah, again, you guys were cruising in the chat a little bit. If you guys are new, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, do all that jazz. We talk about bourbon, whiskey, Old fashions, more importantly. And typically we go live every Friday at 8.35. Lives are similar to this, right? Usually it's on the wider version. Not really. It's been like this for a little while, but it's supposed to be on the wider version. And then, yeah, we do bourbon reviews and then we kind of hang out. Sometimes we gamble, get a little crazy with blackjack and roulette. We don't bet heavy. We just kind of bet, you know, dollars, five, tens, a couple twenties here and there. Get crazy, whatevs. Eric says, Taylor Dom, totally agree, but finding it and having it, or and I'm all over the place here. Totally agree, but finding it and have never had single barrel and finding it for almost half the price of secondary, couldn't resist. Eric, I think you got a hell of a deal on a single barrel. So that's, I wouldn't beat yourself up there. Wesley Long says, new here. New here? What's going on, buddy? Uh, yeah. If you're new here, we're, we're I'm, honestly this is a weird stream to pop in on because we're we're honestly we're just drinking and shooting shit. Uh, we're drinking on some Weller though, a little bit of a, a celebration bourbon. Kid was just born uh, a couple weeks ago now. First live stream back, so we figured we'd bring out something that's better than a uh, you know Canadian mist. The water down. Alfred Johnson, come let's drink beer together. I don't really drink beer. Like, I, I like beer. I'm trying to watch my girl as figure, you know what I mean? That's why I drink bourbon. It's not the best thing for you either. I know during the pandemic, bro, I was drinking tequila thinking I was losing weight with it. That was a whole different different version of me. <clears throat> the um, There was one beer that I really liked. Though. I went on a cruise uh, one time on Norwegian. Uh, the ship was the Encore, and they have, like, this beer like bar that has like 60 to 70 beers on tap. And this, it was like this vanilla caramel ale, right? Um, maybe it wasn't an ale, but it was like an IPA type of thing. Bro, but that thing was delicious. That's all I drank that whole trip it felt like. Uh, Louis says, found Jack Daniels barrel proof rye at 136.8 proof for 65. Hey, I believe that's a good price, but I don't know exactly if that's good. But 136, let me see what this one is. Just real quick. So I, I don't have the rye. I've never been the biggest fan of ryes, but I've been, I've been, I've been turning sides lately. I've been liking some rye, so I definitely want to get the Jack because I, I love all the Jack Daniels products. Damn, you got a 136? Jesus. I got a 133.3 proof on the Jack Daniels single barrel. So, barrel proof, of course. 
Um, that one's pretty good. It's a little, like 136 would be probably too much for me. Like, cause that 133, it's really good. It has tons of flavor, but it is so high on the proof that like, I don't care to sip on it too much. But I bet you if I made an old fashioned with it, it'd probably put me in the ground. Uh, Wesley Long says, I'm sipping on Sazerac rye. I almost bought that the other day because I saw it for fairly cheap, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out if it was cheap or not. So I let it go. But Wesley, what do you think of that? Is it good? And is it worth the money? Like, do you like it? Do you like rye's? I'm asking a ton of questions here, but just kind of bear with me. Is it good? Mr. Lopez says, now that you mention your figure, I didn't want to say anything, but you've been getting a little wide in the hips lately. Hey, stop it. Stop it. No, I'm not. I know I'm not. You know why? Because I know I'm losing weight. You're just trying to take a shot at me because you, you're a Bills fan. You know what I mean? Go shovel some snow out of the, the stadium. No, I'm not, I'm not like losing tons of weight, but I'm definitely not gaining weight either. But I had pizza earlier for breakfast. You know what I mean? When you sit on the couch all day, just waiting for the next diaper change, you know what I mean? You might pack on a couple pounds. Tuxedo Cat says, LOL. Eric says, I'm not a rye guy, but Sagamore rye is pretty good for a non-rye, for, for non-rye peeps. The rye that I like the most that I've had, right, is the Bardstown uh, Origin Series rye. This one is fairly good, but it's, it is pricey. So like for me, like if you're like, cause that's a more like, it feels like a more bourbon for a rye. So that's why I like it. Um, it's not like super like spicy in a sense. It's not tingling my tongue. Um, so I like it quite a bit, but it's, um it is pricey. So just, if you're really big in the rise, maybe try that one as well. Wesley says, for 30 bucks, it's a great pour. All right. Next time I'm at the store, I'm going to have to pick it up. I'll let you know how it is then. Because I saw it. I almost bought it. Because I saw it for 30 bucks too. But like, for some reason, I was like, this isn't what I'm thinking it is. So let me just pass on it. I found it at a Publix. And there's only one in the case. Saved by Grace says, do a butt chug. That's a weird combination for your name to the comment. I can't do a butt chug. I don't have a funnel. Ship me a funnel or ship me the money for the funnel. How about that? Mr. Lopez says, hell no, I'm a, I'm a Dallas fan. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm getting you confused. He says, what the fuck, butt chug? Yeah, I mean, Dallas fans is kind of the same thing though. You know what I mean? I did see a post today. I love how everybody kind of shits on Dallas every time. Bro, I saw a, a post today that says, look, Dallas finally has a ring and it was showing the eclipse. Just saying. Bro, a butt chug. Y'all are crazy. Maybe a bot. It, probably a bot. It's, um, for, for most of like my regulars are in here. Bro, there's some streams that I pop on, and there's this one kid. It may not even be a kid. It may be a grown man. I don't know. He'll comment, and he'll spam the same comment like 15 times. But it'll be like, say, Mike. Like, it'll try to say my coochie itches. You know what I mean? And he'll, he'll like, jumble up the words. I was like, sentences, if you say it real fast, it means something else. Bro, he'll, like, spam those, like, if I'm not going to read it before I say it. They crack me up though. So I honestly, I'm not mad when he does it because I just find it funny. But um, but it's crazy how many times they spam the comments. Louis says, what's your favorite pour? Rare Breed, Stag, 102. Out of those three, honestly, I because I, I have Rare Breed. It is very good. It's not my favorite though. Um, I put 1920 above that. I have 1920 right there. It is very good. But I also like preference with like 1920. <clears throat> the reason why I like it, it is, it's fairly different from a lot of these bourbons or whiskeys that most people like, um, because I love how it has like a really strong banana note in it. So to me, like when I'm like feeling that like banana vibes, going to 1920. Um, stag, I've never had stag, so. 
The only time I've ever found stag is somebody wants like my firstborn for it and I can't pay that. You know what I mean? So, but out of those, 1920 is a winner. 1920 is pretty high on my list regardless. Um, unfortunately, I just don't drink it a lot because of, I'm always bringing in something else. You know what I mean? So, but 1920 is very good. Um, I haven't had 1924 yet. I see mixed reviews on it, but I'm hoping that the price goes down on it and then I'll pick that up then. <clears throat> Mr. Lopez says, didn't like the Sazerac rye at first, but tried it again when the bottle was almost gone and it was decent. To me, that's one of the biggest things that I see with like bourbon and whiskey is like, and I know it's like almost like a myth because it really doesn't change much. You know what I mean? Unless you're drinking out of the bottle. But this neck pour, right? This piece, for some reason, is never as good as this part. You know what I mean? The first couple of pours of a bottle are never that great. Um, I mean, they're usually, I mean, they can be great. Don't get me wrong. But the farther down the bottle you get, even if it's not in the same sitting and you're not just hammered, that does help too, though. But the farther down the bottle you get, for some reason, it's just that much better. So it's, um, I wish I knew the, the science behind that because I, I agree with you. Um, there's some bottles that I don't like at all. And as soon as I get to like mid bottle, I'm like, you know what? This is actually really good. So what? Tuxedo Cat just say no. Wait, what it says? Gotta go for a minute. I'm getting terrible strings of green light. What? <laughs> Mr. Lopez says beep beep boop boop. <laughs> Eric zero zero one one zero zero zero. I'm not gonna read all that, but <laughs> just say no to red lights. That's great. Have you ever tried Haven Hill? Yeah, I have tried Haven Hill. I did a full review on it. I called it uh oh it's Heaven Hill. I call it Haven Hill. Um I have the the bottled and bond one. It's really good. Um I really like to make old fashions with this one. Uh, this is my second bottle now. So if that says anything, I usually don't keep like a bottle on the shelf, but the first one went pretty quick. Gave a couple of my buddies pours of it. They really liked it. It's really good on the proof point, but it also has decent flavor. And to me, it's not like super expensive where I could just, I can just pour the hell out of this and not feel bad about it. Um, it's also at Costco. So Costco, Slide the little membership card, get you a nice discount. I'm always for it. Um, but yeah, that one won a, an award for being like 2023's bartender. They won the 2023 Bartender's Spirits Awards for best bourbon. Now that's from bartenders and stuff like that. And that's probably because they're making cocktails with it. Hence why I probably like it in old fashioned so much. But it, um, but yeah, it's apparently it's got a ton of awards on it. I don't actually think it was the best bourbon made in 2023 or the best bourbon I had in 2023, but it was very good. Um, I'm a big fan, but I like to call it Haven Hill and people give me shit for it. Louis says tater, unless he's saying later, but if you're out, buddy, you're out. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe on your way out so you know when we go live again. Eric says, just bought my first bottle of Heaven Hill, and it was um, I was amazed at the flavor. So that's me too. Like, for me, I like a lot of, like, the basic notes, right? I like the caramel notes. I love vanilla notes. If it has cherry, it's a plus, which is why I like some of the Buffalo Trace stuff so much to get cherries in that. Um, but that one was just, it felt like a normal person, normal everyday person that wasn't hunting for notes could get the notes out of a, a Heaven Hill bottle. So very good. Um, I also really like uh, the Elijah Craig stuff. So everything's from that same distillery. Can't complain there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Boom. But yeah. Um, yeah. Other than like the Haven Hill, honestly, I mean, everybody kind of knows. I love Redwood Empire. The Bartstown Single Barrel. This one. Really good. Um, this one's super pricey though. So I'm not gonna tell everybody to go rush and go buy this one. Um, but if you have extra money and you see it and you just wanna blow it, by all means, pick this one up. Bailey Joe Smith says vodka recommendation. Mm. So 
I haven't tried this one yet, but it looks good. Um, this was sent to me um, by the um, Shady Mile Distillery. This is called Ambush Canyon. I don't know if it's good or not, but I'm going to try this eventually. Obviously, a go-to like vodka to me is always going to be like a Tito's. Because to me, vodka is not supposed to have a ton of flavor in it. It's supposed to be nice, clean, smooth, something that doesn't give you a crazy hangover. You know what I mean? And Tito's kind of does that for me. So for that, what's not broke, don't fix it. Um, but I will say for a vodka drink, it's a little little clutch Vegas trip here. I took vodka and I took an orange Celsius, right? Kind of felt like a screwdriver. Mix those two. Delicious. I I planned for like that bottle right there to try it with like the um, the cosmic or the berry flavor of the Celsius. I'm also a big Celsius fan, um, so that was my drink all Vegas trip last year. Kept us awake, kept us buzzing. It was a good time. Eric says I actually got a month. I got a month flavor out of the what? I actually got a month flavor out of the Heaven Hill. Oh, a mint flavor. Jesus, a month flavor. A mint flavor out of Heaven Hill? I didn't get that. Um, but I do know, like, every bottle can be different. I, I really don't want to have a pour of something different. I want to just drink this tonight, but maybe next stream I, I have a quick pour of that. Uh, let's see. Bailey Joe Smith, nice. You said orange Celsius? Yes. Orange Celsius was the go-to because I was thinking screwdriver, but it was really good, super refreshing. Um, but I think for me, I love berry stuff. I probably would mix it with like the, the berry flavor or even their new one, like that cosmic fruit punch one. I'm sure that would slap. But the orange one was good. I did try it. It's verified. It has the check mark. So very good. Lots of ice though. Lots of ice. Uh, Eric says, be careful with that special reserve. It's going to be gone before you know it. I thought this bottle, I bought this bottle last week and it's almost gone. This is probably going to want to be the few nights I actually drink it. And then it's going to sit for every special occasion because this bottle is going to have a lot of meaning to me. So um, it's not going to be something we just slam back on every stream. I'll go back to drinking my Redwood Empire. That's 30 bucks. And boring you guys with me telling you how great it is, even though it's uh, something we drink every day. Mitchell Mello says, just tuned in. What do you think, Weller? Worth paying the extra for it or around MSRP? If you can find this for MSRP, buy as many as you possibly can. Honestly, I love Buffalo Trace, right? Don't get me wrong. I love Red Bull Empire too. This MSRP is supposed to be around that $29 to $35 mark. I definitely think it's worth that. You, I see a lot of people finding for around 65 to 70. I would pay 65 to 70 for this. Now I know this bottle in particular was bought online and then shipped to me for about a hundred bucks. hundred bucks may be pushing it. But again, like for me, I, we bought this for a special occasion. So I think if it's like a one-time thing and you just have an extra hundred bucks, by all means, I, I think it's worth it. I think it's very good. I wouldn't pay any more than that. Uh, but I, this is also the only Weller I've had where there's a lot of people in the chat saying Antique 107 is better. And I know you can get that for around 130 like on that online site. I know that's like a secondary and sums too. But, um, but yeah, I think this is very good. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's top two right now for the bourbons I like the most this year. This and the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. Redwood Empire Pipe Dream, though, is only 30 bucks, and you can find that almost everywhere. So definitely buy that, too. I'm a big Redwood Empire fan. MZ99 says, what? Mean first fill and refill? Bro, what? I felt like I was broken reading that. What? Mean first fill and refill? I don't know. Refill your drink after you drink it first? Mickey Mouse in the chat. Have you ever tried Jack Barrel Proof Rye? Eh, bro, everybody's in here talking about that. Um, no, the only one I have is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Um, it's just like the normal whiskey, but I have the 133.3 proof. It is very good. I imagine the rye is going to be just as good. Apparently, the rye is a little bit harder to find. 
but a lot of people are that are popping in and out of the chat have found it. They like it, so I think it's one of those things I'm going to have to pick up pretty soon to make sure that I can uh, give it an old try. Not the biggest rye fan, but I've been coming along. I've been liking some rye, so I'm going to give it a try, and hopefully it uh, passes a mark because apparently everybody likes it. So, but Mickey Mouse, Woohoo. right? Is that the thing? About aged whiskey barrels. I think we're talking tongues. I do like a good aged whiskey, if that's what you mean. Like age for me, if, if I had a choice, I would want bottled and bond or higher. You know, I want at least four years because I like, I like it to have tons of flavor. I also like tons of oak in my, in my bourbons and whiskeys just because I like that profile. Because typically for me, like if I'm not having a pour that's just super simple, making it old fashioned, usually going to go to um, smoking it if it doesn't have that oakier taste in it. What's better than Buffalo Trace under 25 bucks? I don't know anything that's better than Buffalo under 25 bucks because 25 bucks is pretty hard to beat. Now, obviously you can go for like benchmark, like benchmark single bar barrel is like 20 bucks. This is pretty good, but this is also like almost the same thing as Buffalo Trace. So like if you're going there, if you wanted to spend 30 bucks, 35 bucks, the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream and Lost Monarch are both very good. These are definitely worth whatever price you find it at. You're not going to find it for secondary because they're pretty much everywhere. Uh, so it's those are like my go-to drinking every day. And I have Buffalo Trace on the shelf. I just don't drink it as often. Uh, Wesley Long says, have you tried Travelers? Yeah, I've, ha I've had the Travelers. It's okay. That's me kind of being generous, though. I'm not the biggest Canadian whiskey fan, and when I drink this, I get a ton of Canadian whiskey. I've tried it multiple different times, hoping to like it. I love Chris Stapleton. His American uh, uh, National Anthem is the best one I've ever heard. It gives you chills. We play it every 4th of July. So I'm a big fan of him. I'm not a big fan of being not knowing that he was uh, sober, so he didn't pick this bottle. So it's the reason why I like this bottle though is I love the story behind it, right? It has the map in the background. Travelers Whiskey got his branding on it. It kind of has his story in it. The downside is it's not that good. Um, now, for me, what I think they were doing is they were just they're just trying to please the masses. They wanted to put Buffalo Trace name along with Chris Stapleton, does just sell a crap ton. You know what I mean? And they did that. It's going to work. People are going to buy it. Um, and for the everyday drinker, like a rando, they're going to buy it and they're going to love it. Because it is, like, better than the, you know, a $25 Canadian whiskey. You know what I mean? It's better than just, like, a random cheap bottle of bourbon. You know what I mean? But it doesn't have many flavors. It's a little sweet. But for me, like, I'm not spending 40 bucks on it. I think it's way, it costs way too much. If you put it on the shelf for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, I would recommend it all day, every day, because it's a, you can mix it. You know what I mean? You can make an old fashioned, you can make a whiskey sour or something with it and use it. But besides that, I'm not drinking it straight. Wesley says, bought it, haven't opened it. Well, I'm sorry, I just kind of shit it all over that bottle. Hopefully you like it. Uh, Mickey Mouse says, what's the most you would pay for stag? Since I've never had it, I can't really give you an exact number. The only price I ever find it for is like 400, 500, and I'm not paying that. If I found it in the store right now for 250, which seems excessive for some reason, I would probably pay it because of what I've seen it at. But I can't tell you if it's worth 250 or not. That's just kind of where if I find it for that, I may buy it. MZ99, how about Oban Whiskey? You like it? I don't think I've ever had it. Unless I'm just reading that wrong. Eric says, Mickey Mouse, in my opinion, I wouldn't pay more than 200 for it. That's just me, though. See, we're kind of like all in the same boat, saying like, hey, like 200 250 is probably that sweet spot, um, but love to find it cheaper. Um, <clears throat> now, luckily for me, where I'm going to end up getting the stag, is there a liquor store here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, that allows you to buy everything off points, right? 
So for example, if I want to buy this Weller, I have to have 600 points, right? But then I'll, ha I'll pay exactly what retail is. So eventually I'll buy the Stag and the EH Taylors and stuff like that. And I'll buy all that for retail just because I buy all my bottles at that store. <clears throat> and they always have good shit there because nobody there is ever spending enough to get points or they don't pay attention to it. So only the people that really care about, you know, getting that kind of stuff is actually paying attention. So, but yeah, it's, um, it's a work in progress, right? A lot of this bourbon stuff, it costs a ton of money. And obviously for everyday people, we can't just go out and just throw tons and tons of money at bottles every different day. Mickey Mouse says, I bought one for 170 still sealed. Hey, to me, I consider that a win, but I definitely think you should crack it open, give it a little taste, and that way you can let us know if it's worth 170 Because if not, then we gotta, we gotta drop our markers. Ooh, got a little fuzzy there, huh? Do you like, uh, what's his name? The Cool Editor. Do you like cheese? Bro, of course. Who doesn't like cheese? You know what I mean? Cheese pizza, grilled cheese, a little Parmesan cheese on some spaghetti and meatballs. Bro, what? That don't even, that don't even make sense. I don't know what the follow-up question to that is, you know? All right, boys, last pour, and then I'm putting the bottle away. So we'll end the stream here in a little bit. That looked weird. But I definitely recommend this. This is not a wine channel. <laughs> Bro. Uh, Eric, we could do a little cheese and bourbon pairing. You know what I mean? Like this Weller would go good with a nice pepper jack. You know what I mean? A little Ritz cracker. Prosciutto. I'm just saying. We earlier were we saying we were fancy. Why can't we have cheese and, and crackers? You know what I mean? I should have the wife bring in a little party tray. So when she was pregnant, she couldn't have like lunch meat, right? Um, or at least cold lunch meat. So she bought one of those like boxes of like cheese, pepperoni, and crackers. Bro, she's been tearing it up. That and public subs. Bro, I, I felt like the only thing we ate at the hospital was public subs. That's all she wanted. I'm like, hey, you want like seafood? You want like pizza? What you, what you want? She's like, pub sub, baby. Run it up. So yeah, it's... um. The whole hospital experience was crazy. <clears throat> Pop back into this one. Where are we at? Mickey Mouse says cheese and bourbon. Good. That's what I'm saying, bro. Who's doing that? Nobody's doing that. I don't think I could be the one that pulls that off. Because I could never take it serious. I would just be pounding cheese on a stream, and the next thing you know, I'm constipated. You know what I mean? But I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I would like to go on somebody else's stream that does that. How about that? A little cheese and bourbon. Ahmed says, A-head. Ahead of my time on the cheese and bourbon? Probably. You're right. You're right. Bro, what are you doing? Are you spamming now? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to have Tuxedo Cat become a, a, a mod at this point. I feel like something's, something's about to happen.
Oh no. He was now blocked. You're kicked out. You've been cut off, buddy. No more drinks for you. Guys, there's still 20 of you guys in the chat. If you want, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Maybe hit the like button. Then pour yourself a bourbon and have a good time. Where's Tuxedo Cat? I know, right? He's probably on... We're probably on his TV as his buddy has his phone again or something. He likes to dip out and come back. Okay. Nobody... People did not like that last one. Okay. Sorry. Did you guys see the Conor McGregor thing? That was funny. It took me like 20 minutes to figure out how to get that done. But yeah, again, if you're new, we talk about bourbon, we talk about whiskey, a little old fashions. We have a good time. You know, typically go live on Fridays around 8.35. Usually we're doing some kind of review or just kind of doing a tasting. Sometimes we do a blind if we get crazy. But... Other than that, we just kind of sit back, we hang out, have a couple of drinks, we talk about whatever comes up. That, and sometimes we gamble, and that's our de 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 degenerate side. English not so good tonight. A little rusty, you know what I mean? It's been a while since I've been on a stream since the kid, but um, we're going to get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, that's typically what we're doing tonight. It's a little bit of a, a, a one-off kind of stream where it's more of like, I'm saying, hey, this is good, but everybody knows well it's good. So it's not really, I don't need to preach that. I don't need to, to sell you guys on anything. You know it's good. I will say, though, if you guys like uh, the dad gang hats, this one's the dad on duty. We were on dad duty today. So, uh, you know, it has the, where's it at? The, if you know, you know on it. Feel free to go to the description. Hit the link. Save yourself 15%. We're basically right there to be a partner. We just gotta we gotta force these people to force us to be a partner. You know what I mean? At this point, gotta do what we can do, you know? Eric says those damn alcohol pads. Bro, buddy's probably huffing them right now. Just just lost in the abyss. Where's this last comment? I wonder if I can pin him. Bro, he hasn't been in here in a minute. Oh, he did say he had to go for a minute. He's getting terrible strings of green light. I wonder... I wonder what he meant by that. You know what I mean? You think he's getting a migraine? Or do you think, like... Like he's getting abducted by aliens. You never know. Down to the last little sip, guys. Gonna end it after this, though, but appreciate you guys hanging out. Need a little, a little water. So, yeah, again, if you're new, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We'll be live Friday at 8.35 talking about something. You know, either that or hanging out and just uh, having a drink if we get lazy. Maybe we will have the kid do an appearance, do a review on the breast milk or something. I don't know. On formula? He's not on formula. He's on titty milk, you know? Eric says, cherish every minute of that, baby. It goes quick. Congrats on the new. I've um, got something there. New addition. Got nothing but love for you and your family. Keep pouring. Peace. Love to all. I appreciate it, man. I, uh, I really do. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're going to show my wife cries every time she thinks about him growing up. So it's uh, all emotions in the house at this point. Mickey Mouse says, store in Brandon, South Dakota. It has the Jack Barrel Proof Ride for 49 bucks. Pretty sure that's a good price. I would go buy that. Uh, but yeah, um, we're definitely going to hang out with the kid. Maybe he'll make an appearance on Friday. That way we can do a little gamble and we'll rub the Buddha head or something. You know what I mean? Some good luck. But yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, chat was pretty live tonight, especially the guy we had to kick out. But, um, but yeah, so again, appreciate you guys. If you haven't, like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and I will see you boys on the other side. Peace. Oh, 
I, del I forgot to delete the outro. I, del I deleted the out outro. I don't even know how we're going to end it now. You know what I mean? Hulk smash the like button. Absolutely, Eric. Appreciate it. I don't have the outro, so I'm going to run the intro again. And we're just that's how we're going to end it. You know what I mean? What are we, what are we going to do? I deleted the outro. I kept getting copyright. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm.